Welcome to the RockShox SAG setup video for rear shocks with Devonair and Soloair Technologies. SAG preloads the suspension by forcing the wheels toward the ground, improving tire contact and traction over rough terrain and during braking for better steering and comfort. For this process, you'll need a RockShox shock pump, all your normal riding gear, and a friend to help out. If your shock has compression, threshold, or lockout adjusters, set them to the open position. Thread the shock pump onto the shock valve. Pressurize the shock to 100 PSI. Remove the pump. Cycle the shock through its travel five times. You'll hear or feel the air swap from the positive to negative chamber each time. Thread the pump back onto the shock valve. Pressurize the shock to the equivalent of the rider's body weight plus riding gear in PSI. For example, a rider in gear totaling 160 pounds will pressurize the shock to 160 PSI. Remove the pump. Cycle the shock through its travel once more. While wearing all of your normal riding gear and with a friend holding the bike steady, step onto the bicycle and lightly cycle the suspension. Have your friend slide the O-ring against the wiper seal. Gently step off of the bicycle without compressing the rear shock. Check the O-ring position on the shock and note the sag percentage marking. For Debonair, sag is correct if the O-ring sits at the 30% mark. And for Solo Air, sag is correct if the O-ring sits at the 20% mark. Depending on your riding style and terrain, sag can be set 5% more or less than the recommended amount. If the sag value is not at the desired level, inflate or deflate the shock in 10 PSI increments and repeat the measuring process until the desired sag value is achieved. Always disconnect the shock pump before measuring sag. Disconnecting the pump will not cause any pressure loss in the shock. This concludes the sag setup process for RockShox rear shocks with Debonair and Solo Air Technologies.